woman saves 110-year-old dying tree, converting it into magical library stump. Kindles are a great gadget. They offer everything a book lover could possibly need, as it allows us to keep thousands of books in one place. But if you're a major book nerd, then you know there's nothing like holding a physical book in your hand and cozying up under a blanket as you get ready to immerse yourself in a different realm. But no one has a greater appreciation for books than non-profit organization, Little Free Library, who wanted to preserve a huge 110-year-old tree from Cheryl Lee Armitage Howard's front yard. Being a librarian, artist, and former bookbinder, Cheryl Lee had a special connection to books. The city workers were planning on removing an impressive 110-year-old tree from her front yard, but she wasn't about to stay put and watch as they chopped away such a majestic tree. Trees can be a beautiful asset, but they can also be a liability. The old cottonwood tree had been dropping huge branches on the sidewalk. Cheryl Lee was starting to worry, but she had a plan. Someone willing to take the time to give new life to a stump would never cut down a healthy tree to do it, she said. Finally, Cheryl Lee figured out what she wanted to do with the stump. But she didn't do it alone. Nonprofit organization, Little Free Library, felt like they needed to step in and lend a helping hand. As a matter of fact, you may have already stumbled upon some of these stunning free little libraries in your very own town, although not as impressive and elaborate. She shared her excitement on Facebook, where she posted the following message, This tree won't look amazing until spring, when I can plant ground cover and cheerful perennials around it, touch up the paint, and fine-tune the trim work. The creator of this project, Todd H. Bull, wanted to share his love and passion for sharing books with other bookworms, and it all started in Hudson, Wisconsin. The concept resonated with Todd's neighbors, who were truly delighted by the idea. Soon enough, his project would end up turning into a global book-sharing movement that could potentially change the world. And if you'd like to open up and start your very own little free library in your yard, then we've got great news, as you can easily join the Little Free Library Sharing Network, which as of now, boasts more than 75,000 little free libraries. I really believe in a little free library on every block and a book in every hand. I believe people can fix their neighborhoods, fix their communities, develop systems of sharing, learn from each other, and see that they have a better place on this planet to live," he said on his site, littlefreelibrary.org. Some books leave us free, and some books make us free. Now let's all grab a book and share the ones you've already finished with your next-door neighbors. Take a look at this whimsical little library which was carved up from the inside and decorated with a cozy roof. To add a little more magic, they added some exterior lightning to give it that fairy tale vibe. It's just too adorable for words. Thank you for watching this fantastic story. Please tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing wonder stories.